Namaste and welcome to Pramani Astrology Channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajan. Those who are live today, we are going to talk about the retrogression of the planet. I often get regarding the retrogression of the planets. I'll be sharing a few of the secrets of the retrogression of the planet. Before that. If you want more content, go to my website and subscribe to the email list. Let's get started with the retrogression of the planet. The first thing to look for the retrogression of the planet is the house the planet is placed in. The first thing to look for is if this planet, retrograde planet, is placed into the Kendra house. If a planet which is debilitated is placed in the Kendra house, get some strength to it. And it performs better. And if you look at any kind of cancellation of the retrogression of the planet rules, they always talk about the Rashis. They will always talk about the Rashi, it is debilitated in, it gets exalted in. But the planet itself is debilitated, so it has to get the strength. And when a planet is placed in the Kendra houses, 1, 4, 7, 10, it gets the strength. This is the first thing to look for while judging the retrograde planet. Look for if it is in the Kendra. Next, we always look for the Namansha degree, placement of the planet. If you have planet debilitated into the D1 chart, and if it gets exalted into the D9 chart, the inherent nature of the debilitation of the planet doesn't change, but the Namansha is more about how you feel about it. When you feel about it, the troubles you might face, the obstacles you might face in D1 chart, those are worth is what you can feel from the D9 chart if you have exalted planet in the D9 chart. The next question I always get is regarding the retrogression of the planet. If a debilitated planet gets retrograde, what happens? What? How, how do we judge it? The retrogression of the planet does not make the planet exalted. It just changes the uh, bala of that planet. You know, it will hurt the placement where it is placed in as much as the normal graha, but as it is retrograde, it will have more of a ishtabala and more ishtabala than kashtabala. Okay. And then we have to follow the rules before we come to the conclusion. But it certainly does not get exalted. Okay. The next thing is we have to look for the conjunctions. The next secret about the retrogression of the planet is the conjunction. If a planet debilitated, placed into the Kendra and is conjunct with the other planet, which is exalted into that sign, that debilitation gets cancelled. Okay. Suppose you have Jupiter debilitated into the first house in Capricorn. But you have Mars and Jupiter conjunction into the first house of your horoscope. Then it creates the cancellation. And why cancellation? Because now, if you look at if they are close enough degree wise, they will aspect the seventh house and other houses with the same degree. 
okay and this is the this adds the strength to the otherwise debilitated planet okay so this is another important thing and if you have any questions put them into the comment section uh, at the end of this video we will be going through the questions as well if you have and even after the end of the stream if you have any question i keep engaging with the videos i reply to comments and i go through the questions so just put your questions if you are watching it the real life you, know, you can you know just put your questions into the comments the next thing to look for is the lord of the house where the planet is debilitated is either exalted or is aspecting the debilitated planet suppose you have jupiter debilitated into the sign of capricorn so the if saturn is aspecting this jupiter it gives certain strength to it but again you have to you know look for all the rules which are complicated because if you look at the retrograde planets all the all the retrogression rules the cancellation rules are all about the um, rashis where the planet exalted if the planet gets exalted into the rashi it's all about rashi rashi and rashi it doesn't talk about the planet because when you judge a graha you have to judge it with its avastha and you know shadbala so for a retro, uh, retrograde planet the lord of its debilitation sign even if it is aspecting won't make much of a difference okay so yes this was the secrets of retrograde planets which i wanted to share with you so if you have any question put them into the comment section let's look at some of the questions if you have abhinav is saying sir please explain saturn in capricorn retro for scorpio ascendant okay so uh, abhinav we are talking about the debilitation and if you have a planet debilitated when saturn goes in capricorn it doesn't get debilitated if you have saturn into the sign of aries it gets debilitated okay so if you have any question around the debilitated planets please share with yeah. effects of buddha mahadasha if mercury is combusted and with conjunction with sun in mithuna of tula ascendant utapatti divya uh, divya ji this is about the debilitation of the planet do you have any questions around the debilitation of the planet please share okay so yes this was a quick video about the retrogression of the planet if you have any question put the, those questions into the comment section i keep engaging with these videos and will be try to come live as much as possible so you know we can start a series with the live so yes i'm now just closing in if you have any question the final questions we can take otherwise we are going to end this stream i have nanak ozc i have saturn in aries in the mancha uh nanak ji where is your saturn in the d1 chart nishad sir i have retrograde saturn in the 7th house will i get married early is that saturn retrograde 
So good. Okay, so if you have any questions, just put them into the comment section. Thank you for being with me on this live stream. Love and peace.